you thought you would see somebody else here, but it's Carla. And she's live and in person. It's been a long time since we've done a live event. And I'm really excited because I get to talk to you about quilting, of course. One of my favorite subjects, well, my favorite subject other than my family of all time. So um, we're going to jump in. Um, I was a few weeks ago. Well, it's actually been one whole week ago. I got home from Australia and I was able to go and visit Brisbane, Australia and Toowoomba, Australia. And I had the opportunity of meeting some of the most wonderful, sweet people possible. Um, and it was one of my favorite shows. I know I start collecting these favorite shows that I get to go to as I, I go out and start um, being a part of them. Um, but these quilters are absolutely amazing. And I had the opportunity to take some video of the show that was in Brisbane. It was an AQS show. And we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you the video that I took. Sorry, it's a little busy, but the quilting on these quilts was absolutely incredible. And um, I, I just wanted you to see and all the beautiful quilting, all the different quilts. I mean, not one is even the same. And the, lots of different personalities, perspectives. I mean, the applique on this and the quilting, the detail is just incredible. And I have about five minutes of this to show you and we can go through and talk about it. And I, and I just really appreciate you being a part of this and see the kangaroos and you know, the trees and everything. Uh, it just, and the quilting just makes it pop. Um, lots of detail. And uh, look at the zebra and the leopard and the monkey, the elephant, I mean, how? Oh. I know you are all impressed like I was uh, with the quilting and the artistry that is going along with it. I mean, just, it's incredible. Um, and sorry if it's a little jerky and moving fast. I don't want you guys to get sick, but it was just, there were too many of them and I had, it's like I had to get all of them. So I'd go back every day and take um, video of a little section. <laughs> So the people weren't in the video, but it was, it was just very impressive. Even the simplest design you can see just adds texture and detail to all of these quilts. The straight lines going across, how they accentuate the skyline, you know, little pebbles. I mean, the skirts on the ballerinas and the flowers for the background. You know, you can take something simple like the straight lines and make the, the design pop that you're trying to show off. And even pebbles and stippling. There's just so many ways to um, show your personality and what you like. I mean, I have designs that I totally love. We got to go see koalas too. I didn't hold one, but Janessa did. <laughs> that was really fun. Um, we also got to go and see a play. Um, there were lots of things that we were able to do. I walked a lot. I walked to and from the show every day, um, except for the last day when I had my suitcase in hand. We ordered an Uber for that, because there was no way I was gonna haul that thing <laughs> through Australia, through Brisbane. You're right, not enough words for their talent, Paula. You're absolutely right. Um, this spectacular quilt. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, it was really important for me to get good video of it. Um, well, it was my video take on it. Now, if I would have had Bryant there, man, it could have been masterful movie event. <laughs> but you can just see uh, the details. The element, this is a hand quilted one I wanted to show you. Yeah, hand quilting is not dead. Machine quilting hasn't taken over <laughs> every aspect of quilting. Um, this one was just incredible, the detail. The colors, also the colors. They like bright colors. This was fun too. Just everything about it was just a lot of fun. And the, the smile on your face when you just look at it, it just gives you a warm feeling. Just looking at these quilts and 
I can't read all the things. I, just, I tried to get up close and read about them, but I'm showing you the winters, winners now. Um, but like I said, all of them are totally different. There wasn't one quilt that was exactly the same and how it was quilted and the detail, just wavy lines, how it accentuates the face. So that was a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me bring that to you. And I hope you enjoyed it because I have more shows I'm going to. I'm going headed to Quilt Canada next week. And I'm going to have the opportunity up there in Victoria, Canada to teach a couple of classes. So up there in Canada, uh, come on down. I'd love to meet you and, and for, you, for you to, you know, just say what you're thinking and get your ideas and thoughts on things. So please come to our booth. I'll be working with our distributor, which is Grace Co. Canada, but they also have the name of So Right Distributing up there. Um, so come and join us in Victoria, Canada next week, and I'd love to meet you. Okay, okay so let's get on to the cutie frame. Okay. We have some fabulous sales coming up forward this month um, in the month of June. And I know it's getting summer and people aren't really thinking quilting, but you know, sometimes during the summer it can be a little hectic and you need a little downtime. So I like to go to my little special place and I know some of you have those little special places and that's your quilting room to create and leave all the cares of what's going on in the world behind. Um, and it's such a good outlet for your creativity Activity, for stress and strain and just to enjoy the process and that's what this little cutie frame has done. So it's introduced into the market um, an affordable way to quilt that makes it easier for you to interact and do what you can do and love. So let's go to the website and on our website for June, it's all about building your own quilting system. So that's a combo set with a frame and a machine or just a frame to get you going. So we have the Q-Zone hoop frame on sale, which is more of a dedicated um, quilting frame, unlike the Cutie frame. And we have the Q-Zone hoop frame and the Q-Zone hoop frame pro, which is the dual track. So they're both on sale. and. Then we have the light bar that's now included. So it's a free light bar if you buy the Q-Zone Hoop Frame Pro. The light bar is fabulous. You need all the light you can get to get all those beautiful details on your quilt. So it's a good combo. Um, let's scroll down and, and see a little more. So now we've got our cute little cutie frame. It's the frame that allows you to use your home sewing machine and turn it into a quilting machine. So. For all you quilters on the go that love quilting like I do, if you have an RV or another home that you have that you go to during the summer or the winter, the summer winter homes, um, the cutie frame is a possibility for you to continue doing what you love. So if you hadn't thought of that, it's a good way to just think about it and think, oh, okay, I'm going on vacation in my RV. Let me take my quilting with me and continue on doing it. So think about that. And, you know, like I said, it's just an easy way to get into quilting. So let me go through some of the little, the, the things that I like. Uh, number one, it's portable. I like that you can put it away. Who likes a cluttered house? I don't. But quilting kind of consumes our household and to be able to take our machine off and put it away is just awesome. So that's one of those details about um, the cutie frame that some of the other frames do not have. Now you can push them out out of the way um, to make room for what you're doing, but this one you can actually take off the table and put away in the closet or whatnot. So another thing that I like is that it allows you to use your home sewing machine. So we know our home sewing machines and we love them. We've been using them for a long time, whether it's an embroidery machine or the machine that you've had forever and that you piece with. And it may not have a huge, long, deep throat like the, the long to mid to long arm quilting machines, but it's good enough for you to jump in and start quilting. Um, this is just a little brother machine. It's a fifth, it's gone, only got a nine inch throat. So if you wonder what size throat your, your little dedicated PC machine has, you need to measure from the needle to the back of the throat, okay? 
and that will tell you what the throat space is for quilting. Now usually it's nine inches or longer. Uh, that's an optimal size for machine quilting, but maybe you have one that's maybe seven or eight. Now it'll get you started, and yes, you will want to upgrade a little quicker because you will get tired of just the small quilting area. But that's the beauty of the cutie frame. It allows you to work in increments and steps so that you can build your quilting little quilting room or quilting system um, with an affordable way of doing it. So let's jump in and also talk about that you can start out with the foot pedal using your foot pedal down below. And I have just put the foot pedal down below. Now I went and I got this adjustable chair. Now I probably want to be up just a little bit more, but I don't have the long legs and don't show my fat ankles. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, well, I'm just going to show you. So when you're starting out, just learning to move the machine across the quilt, a couple of things that you'll need to remember is the presser foot tension. The presser foot is what pushes down on the quilt layers. You may need to adjust it, and also you'll need to have your feed dogs in the down position. You will also need a quilting foot, a foot that will glide across your quilt as you are quilting. So. I know most of the machines come with it, but sometimes you might want to buy it. Now, this is a good foot. However, if you are doing some detailed work, I would probably like a little open toe or a foot that I could see more of my needles so I could do pebbling and things like that. So just look at your accessories because I know it's like a good pair of shoes. There are feet available for how you want to quilt, even on a domestic machine. So you could get a ruler foot as well and do ruler work, okay? So when I start out, I kind of start out a little slower. But if you're going to start out a little slow, then you have to move your machine slow, okay? And then as you build up your confidence, you can push down on the foot pedal and get your speed. And then Pam is asking a really good question. Can I use the tall thread holder with um, the cutie? Um, I, you notice that we have here, so that's what I would say. Um, a, a taller one or a cone one to hold those threads. It just depends on what style of thread you are using. So if you're saying the tall one, is it just the post? That would, um, or is it laying down on its side? I, I'm not quite sure, but if you want to email me, Carla with a K, K-A-R-L-A at graceframe.com, send me a picture of what you're talking about. I would be more than happy to answer that in more detail. All right? Um, yes. So, anyway, so let me get going and notice that this one probably could use a little comb on it, so it's holding it, but it's going to be just fine for right now for showing you. So anyway, I'm going to start out a little slow and that's just pushing down on it so then the needle is going slow, but I want to move it a little slow. So my stitches are a little bigger, okay? However, as I get the feel for it, I'm not going to start out with it slow and then start moving it fast because the needle's going to get stuck in the ground, stuck in the fabric, and it's not going to work as well. And notice I got skip stitches and I got long stitches. So you just want to build up that speed, just kind of get to know. And then you kind of just get that rhythm as you're going along. Um, but when I tell you, quilting is so much fun. And notice I'm moving it a little too fast because my stitches got a little bigger there. But as you're going along, just kind of play around, kind of practice. I'll do some pebbling. I'll try to do some pebbling. Now this foot's not too bad for the pebbling, but you know, just play around and start practicing. You know, start getting to know how to do maybe some little feathers, and just have fun. That's that's what it is. Quilting is fun, and we make it just be such a a chore. We're taking the fun out of it. And I don't like that. I, I want it to be fun and entertaining. I, want, I don't want to try the same old, same old the whole time. So I really want to try different ways to engage with my quilting. I want to try different designs. I want to grow as a quilter. So I want to try different things. So you can graduate, you know, 
trying different designs, okay? So I am not a professional quilter, but I strive to be one one day. So it would be really fun to be able to say, ah, I'm a professional quilter now. <laughs> I doubt I'll ever be that, but I just love quilting that much. So anyway, let's um, answer some of the questions. Um, you know, Jennifer had a good one. Um, what was the question that Jennifer had? Oh, is there an accessory? Okay. Is there an accessory in the works? I'm not sure what accessory. I have lots of accessories in the works <laughs> coming down the pike, but um, just know that Carla's always thinking and loves new ideas. Um, so if you have some um, I thoughts and ideas that you think an accessory is needed, send it my way. Again, it's Carla with a K, K-A-R-L-A at graceframe.com. So, okay, so this is our machine with the foot pedal, but there are some accessories that you can purchase that will help you engage a little easier with your quilting, and, and they are on sale this month. So we have 30% off some of our accessories. Um, and I'm just going to go through them right here. So we have our sure stitch. Now this is not the sure stitch elite, but it's our regular sure stitch. So we have two of them. This is a lower cost than the sure stitch elite. It, you know, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the sure stitch elite has. I love that the sure stitch elite is a touch screen. You can set the machine up really easy on it. Uh, and the encoders, it comes with all the cords, where this one is more uh, machine specific, um, but it works just as well, um, but it just doesn't have all those fine features that the Sure Stitch Elite, ha Elite has. Now, a stitch regulator um, replaces the foot pedal, so it's a nice accessory to think about and jump into. Um, if you're looking for help with keeping your stitches nice and consistent, um, this is a good accessory to look at. It's a little pricier, but when you're ready for it, that's when you'll jump in and start looking at and, and purchasing. And now's a good time because they are on sale. Another accessory, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's called the speed control box. And the speed control box is it's not a stitch regulator. It's just a foot pedal replacement that gives you an on off button. And then you still have to adjust the speed, but you don't have to use your foot pedal any longer. And it allows you to turn that on and off right here at your fingertips. So it's an accessory that you need to look at online as well. Now, some ways to engage and grow our quilting techniques and skills are with what we call the pattern perfect. The pattern perfect, it is really nice if you have a hard time knowing what you want to quilt on your quilt. It kind of eliminates that and it gives you eight designs on each, uh, four designs on each side, so it's reversible. So you get eight total designs that you can mix and mingle and just really have a good time with. It has what we call a stylus and bracket where the bracket sits on the side of the frame, so um, it sits right here on the side back here, and there's a little stylus that fits down in the groove on the Pattern Perfect. So look that up. It's a great way to engage with quilting and makes it a little easier for a lot of customers. Now, another one is a laser. If you have a hard time coming up with designs, a laser is a great way and a printed pantograph where you can lay it down across the front here or across the back and follow with a laser. It's a great way to engage and also it really helps that muscle memory. With the laser, if you're following a design over and over and over, it's like tracing. You will learn that design and you'll learn the movements. Now, one suggestion I have when you're picking out designs to use with the laser or with a Pattern Perfect or a Panograph and you're just starting out, you, Pick a design that's not densely close together with the, the sewing lines. It will make it easier for you to follow along when you have a little bit more of a separation. So maybe a heart is a good one to start with um, because it's a little further apart. Um, just look at that and think about that as you're picking out designs because you can purchase them online. Um, now, 
I'm getting into more of the machine specific accessories that we make for our machines, but boy, they are useful and very helpful. And number one is our Wonderfoot. I mean, if you like stitch in the ditch and stitch in the ditch is stitching in the seam lines. This is a great accessory for our Cunic machines to purchase. It is so engaging and so fun. Um, and it has the crosshairs for stitching in the ditch, but it also has offsets. So it helps you stitch a quarter um, and almost up to a half an inch. So a lot of fun, it has clear line of sight so that you can see what you're sewing and quilting with. I love this foot. It is so engaging and a lot of fun. So check that out if you have our Cunique machines. All right, and it has different little lenses. I, I didn't show you this, but it has different little lenses. So it's like you're getting um, one, two, three, four, five, five feet in one. So that's a great accessory pack of the Wonderfoot 360. And it's 360 because it turns, it does a full 360 turn. It's fun. All right, another one is our ruler base, okay? And our ruler foot set. So our ruler base is just a base that fits around the machine and stabilizes it so that you can use rulers, which are also on sale, and you'll use special feet. So this is our three-piece hopping foot set. It comes with a ruler foot, a micro stipple foot, and an open toe foot. Each of them have specific uses and I don't want you to be caught and use the same foot all the time. Know that it's not that hard to change a foot on your machine, especially on our machines. I, I have to say the engineers did a great job to make it very easy. On other machines, I can't honestly say that, but on our machines, it's just very easy to adjust and pick out a new foot. So use specific feet for the details that you want to create on your quilt. You saw all those amazing quilts from Australia. Well, that's what these different feet will allow you to do. Okay, the last one, if you are not sure of your free motion quilting skills, this is a kit that will really engage you and help you with your free motion skills. It gives you tips and techniques on how to start free motion quilting and it's our free motion quilting starter kit. And it will show you from if you have a hoop frame to a rolling frame, whatever frame you have, it's going to really help you. It gives you everything you need. It gives you a guide, it gives you the fabric, the bobbins, um, doesn't give you the needles. Okay, but it gives you the bobbins and the thread and it just will help get you to that next step and give you the confidence that you need to jump in and start free motion quilting on your quilts. I don't want you to buy a system that's on sale and think, wow, that's a great idea and not ever use it. My last one is, is our True Cut Cutting. Now, our True Cut was designed, my brother came up with this because he wanted a better, easier, way to cut and this is how true cut was um was born it was born because jim my sweet brother wanted us to be safer and he who wants us to be more accurate and he wants us to engage with our quilting we don't want it to just sit there and grow dust so just know that this is a great system you've got the comfort cutter the true grips which will you put on the back of your rulers and will hold you nice and stable and you get a six and a half by 24 and a half inch um, ruler which you can cut most any shape or square and the comfort cutter is ergonomic. I'm telling you, I broke my wrist. You all know I broke my wrist. <laughs> but this is the only cutter I can actually use now because it, it's just really frustrating. I really feel the weather now, every little thing. I just feel it in my wrist. And so this is the best way to cut. It will really help you if your hand's a little shaky and you're getting older. It just really helps eliminate all that stress and strain on your shoulders, from your shoulders all the way down to your wrist and your fingers. So if you're suffering from carpal tunnel or anything, but check out not only these, but check out our, our mats 
Check out our, our square rulers. Check them all out because they are fabulous. They have the holes in them for a specific reason. They are easier to read from top to bottom, but they also help you hold it nice and stable and steady, which is so important for quilting. And cutting. Cutting is so important to piecing and piecing is so important to quilting. So they all interact with each other and engage with each other. Um, but anyway, I just love quilting. I really love you guys. I appreciate you joining me today. And uh, join me the next few weeks. Next week, we're gonna show you how to put the fabric on a rolling frame. Um, so if you're interested in how to do that and how to engage easier, we're gonna show you that video. I will be in Quilt Canada. I will take video of the quilts and I wanna meet you up there. And then the next week after that, we've got a couple of really fun ones. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, um, raw edge applique. I've always wanted to do it, but I figured it out and I kind of showed you it's not raw edge applique for my extreme paper piecing, but I'm really excited to show you circles and things like that. So we're going to cut out and I'm going to show you how to do it on, on the frame. And then the week after that, the last week of June, I am going to show you um, from a few emails that I've gotten how to clip out certain sections using Eclipse um, and the automation software and quilting and edge to edge design. So I'm really excited about that. And then after that for um, July and August, we're gonna kind of take a hiatus, get, get going to shows and come back with new, fresh, fun ideas. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next week. i not live and not in person, but my heart will always be with you Tuesdays with Grace. So please take care, please be safe, and please know we sure appreciate all that you do to help us move forward. Thank you, we'll see you, bye-bye.